Hey, I'm down here at the Clinton County Historic Society East Water Street building. I'm here because they have an in, in memory of Clayton Bowman, 1960 2002, donated by the JCs. Used to be the JCs building. Now it's Pormann Gallery. I think the JC is still in the back, but I'm not sure where they're located now. But there's another reason why I'm down here too, because right next door, I'm not going on the property, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to film, film the uh, Heisey Museum. Since the date, the gate's closed, and 1831 Heisey Museum of the Clinton County Historic Society. They're closed right now. I just want to show you what it looks like. And uh, I guess they took the sidewalk out that had had the um, all them um, bricks that went to, uh, might be out back. Bricks that went to all went to all these brick factories. There's another thing, Joan Winters, 2016. She put that there. This is a visiting Victorian gift shop. It's an old Victorian house. Uh, it was built before the dike, way before the dike levee. It went through many, many floods. Um, but I know about it. They said that somebody says it's haunted. Yeah, that could be true too, but as old as it is. You might even see piercing the window, might see something. Um, I, I'm going on to the side of the building here. I'm not going to go on the property. I'm just... Why go on the property when you can just film the building? The reason, reason why I seen something over here is this uh, sign right here 1907 John Dunlap see Weaver John Belly William Hanna commissioner as a planning that that was another thing and this old building off to the side must have been it looks like kind of like an old um, kind of like an old railroad building but But, maybe it's a post office. But now it's Iron Furnace. Huronsville, 1937, Iron Furnace, the first successful hot blast furnace in North America to produce high quality pig iron, an outside, outstanding sample of dry masonry, one of the largest early furnaces in existence in America. This is what it looks like out back. And they have an old, look like an old mini chuck wagon back there. Uh, I guess. The sidewalks over there that has the that have to come down when they're open. I'm gonna have a little bit of music in the background because I'm down here when the stage is on. Showing you what it looks like in the back. This old Victorian house over here. This is part of the other building, that uh, Poorman house. All right, well, we'll have to come down here during the day when they're open. You guys have a good day.